Hello, my Hemsada SSD hard drive has arrived. <clears throat> it's a Plexter 512GB serial ATA 6GB a second Hemsada SSD. And this is what it looks like. Very tiny. It connects directly into the motherboard. So we'll see how fast it takes Windows to boot with this and without it. So this is how long it takes um, to boot off a regular hard drive. It's a fairly new clean install of Windows 10. So what I'll be doing is um, transferring or cloning all the data from my solid from my normal hard drive onto the solid state drive on the motherboard. So as you can see, even a new install of Windows 10 takes quite a while to load. There we go, there we go. So it takes about a minute and a half to fully load into the system. So um, we're going to install the, the memory stick into the motherboard and um, clone the drive and see if everything works. Okay, so that's the MSATA drive there. It's going underneath the video card into a slot on the motherboard. So I'm going to have to remove the video card and um, yeah, make some space. So that's where the MSATA drive is going. Straight into that white connector and two screws are lining up into there. Okay, so now as you can see, the um, Plexter MSATA solid state drive is installed. It's half a terabyte. It'll be running Windows and programs. With my three terabyte drive, we'll be holding games, and my one terabyte drive will be holding pictures and videos and things like that. So the next step is to go into the BIOS and make sure it's installed. Okay, so we're in the BIOS. And as you can see, MSAT is down the bottom now. When I hit the enter key, it says SSD Plexa 512 gigabyte. So the BIOS recognizes it. So the next thing is to load Windows and see what happens. Okay, so I've got the SSD installed and Windows Management picks it up as a drive. It's not yet formatted. So I'm using a program called To Do Backup Free. And I click on Clone. And I want to clone Hard Disk Drive 0. And I just choose all the partitions. And I click Next. And the target will be hard disk drive 2 479 gigabyte so I click on that and then I click optimize for SSD And then I click next and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I finally tried to clone the C drive of Windows onto the SSD. 
So it says initializing clone, please wait. I clicked on optimize for SSD, so I assume when it clones this disk, I, um, I copy it, I remove, turn the computer off, I remove the hard drive cable for the, the original boot and hopefully can configure it to boot from the SSD if everything works. It's my first time trying this so I'll see what happens. Okay, so I've cloned the drive, the one terabyte drive onto the half a terabyte SSD and SATA drive. Now we'll time how long it takes for Windows to boot. So I just restarted. Okay, so it's starting to boot from the BIOS now. Wow. Less than five. Wow, that is lightning. That is so much faster. Okay, so that's how you clone a hard drive to a SSD and then boot from the SSD.